Okay, here we're going to talk a little bit more about half-life. A little bit as the time for half of the amount of a substance to degrade. So I drew this figure sort of haphazardly for you on the board and I just wanted to give it to you a little bit more in depth here so maybe you'll believe that it does lead to exponential decay. So the y-axis here is the percent of initial mass or amount remaining. So we're starting at 100%. And again, we're going to say that the half, oops, I keep doing that, that the half-life is 10 years. I'll work on my handwriting over here. Okay, so half-life is 10 years, so after 10 years, if you start with 100, you'll have 50% remaining. You've got 25%, 5 years, you've got about 12.5%, on, so half of 12.5% for every 10-year period. Not quite reaching zero. At the end here, we're at about 0.1%. Uh, so this is, as you can see, it's a really nice, straightforward exponential decay um, figure. And this equation, uh, this term right here, should be e to the negative kt. Um, draw that as a capital T, like I've been doing in class. Okay. So exponential decay, there's your equation. Okay, so here is an example. So how do we use this equation? Let's say we use a fungicide, we apply 100% of it, and after 10 days, how much is left? And we know, in this case, the decay rate, which is 0, uh, 0.046, and in this case, the units are 1 over a day. So we want to know how much is left after 10 days. So m at time t, so t here is 10 days. So the initial amount is 100% times e to the negative k, 0 0.046 one day times 10 days. Okay, so if you do the math out there, you end up with 63% remaining. Okay, so hopefully that works for you on your calculator. All right, so you can do the same thing, whether you're looking at, at how much is left in terms of percentages or in terms of mass. So this is just the same thing, but now instead of saying we started at 100%, we're saying that we started with 150 grams. So in that case, we've got m at time t equals 10 here, 10 days equals the initial mass, so in this case that is 150 grams, times e to the negative k, again 1 over day, I'm just going to abbreviate <laughs> uh, d, or day as d here, times 10 days. So if we do the math out here, we end up with about 95 grams remaining after 10 days. Okay, so now we are going to look at how do we figure out the half-life of this fungicide when we know the decay rate. So we're going to move back to percentages because that's make that makes our math easy. So we want to know the mass at some time t, which is going to be half of the initial mass at time t zero times e to the negative zero point zero four six and times t. Okay.
Okay, so if we assume that we're starting with 100%, then we know that we want to know the time when the mass is when the mass remaining is 50%. So we can just use those values. So we've got 50% equals the initial mass, 100%, times e to the negative 0 0.046, then that's 1 over day, and then t, we're going to call that t 1 half, so that's sort of the half time. Okay, so this is what we want to solve for here. So how do we do that? So we just do some algebra. To start off with, we can do 50% divided by 100% equals e to the negative 0 0.046, 1 over day, that is a negative there, times t, 1 half. And then because this is an exponent, we want to take the natural log to get rid of that exponent. And what we end up with here, so this is the natural log of 1 half, which is equal to negative 0 0.693. And that is now equal to negative 0 0.064, 1 over day, times t 1 half. Okay. So we can multiply through by negative 1 to turn everything positive, because that just makes us a little happier. And then we divide 0 0.693 by 0 0.046. And that will give us the half time in days, which is roughly 15 days. Okay, so in the next little video, we'll talk about bioaccumulation.